Good morning, y'all. It is the next day, if you remember from the last episode. And if you haven't seen the last few episodes, I do recommend uh, going ahead and catching yourselves up on this RP because I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I think we're really developing a really cool little mini storyline. And I think it's been fun so far. So if you remember from the last episode, we picked up this Chevy Silverado 3500 Duramax. It is used. It's got a couple of mods on it, but it has a 750 horse engine pack. It's tuned, it's deleted, injectors, I mean, it is built, ready, and good to go. We also picked up that uh, that gooseneck trailer over there, which should allow us to handle a lot more jobs. And speaking of, there's actually a job we can handle for the town, which should actually get us a pretty good paycheck. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fire this thing up, and we're going to actually... Um, hook up the gooseneck trailer. We're gonna head on over to pick up some metal beams because that is what we need for this particular job. It's for rebuilding a bridge. So that should actually open up a lot of opportunities for us, or at least it's for delivering the materials to help re rebuild the bridge. We're not rebuilding the bridge. The town's rebuilding the bridge, but we're just helping deliver the, uh, the materials to help get it done. So let's go ahead and put the tailgate back up. And now, we're going to head on over to the warehouse to pick up our metal beams. So let's go ahead and get out onto the road and also make sure that everything is in order with this contract. Good to go and good to go. All right, so let's head on out. This thing is pretty quick. The funny thing is, it's actually quicker than the F-150 is, which is really hilarious considering it's a lot heavier than the, F, uh, than the F-150, but the F-150 was not really ever meant to be quick. Um, I mean, it could be, and we could, you know, we could go back and mess with it and, you know, mess with the engine and try to get a little bit more power out of it. That's fine, but, like, this thing is just, like, a totally different beast entirely. Totally, totally different. It also sounds amazing, too. I'm gonna let y'all listen to it for just a second. The spool sound is so loud. Like, listening to the spool on this thing is absolutely freaking insane. Alright, so we're pulling up to the... What the heck was that? I don't know what that was. No, you know what? I don't know what that was, and we're all going to forget about the fact that I broke RP for a second there because whoever built that road did not build it up to spec. All right, so let's go ahead and drop on in, and they, they should know us around here at this point. Yep. All right, we need metal beams, so let's go ahead and throw those on there. Wait, there we are. And we should need just two of those, which we've got. And the extra weight package that I had put on the front end at the dealership should be helping us out here quite a bit because so far we haven't pulled the front end off the ground. Although the only thing that I'm concerned about with this is this is a good chunk of weight and we don't have, uh, we don't have active airbags in the back. I didn't really have the budget to go for the active airbags when we bought this truck. They're, they were an option and I may get them later on in the future, but we just gotta make sure that we don't overload this thing um, until we actually can get those active airbags in the back. Now I've never been down this route before with this truck, so I don't really know what we're in for necessarily. It's not far, because we can actually see the locator already popping up on our GPS. And I believe that is the road right there. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, my God. Are we going to... No, we've got room. Okay, we've got room. I just wanted to make sure we didn't go off of something that was super steep. Because if we go off of something that's super steep, it is not going to be happy with us. The gooseneck is going to get bound up and it's going to get, you know... It's going to get into a scenario where we're going to have to call somebody and that's not... Uh, that's never delightful. That's never delightful whatsoever. Not in the least bit. This isn't too bad, though. Let's make sure we can keep our momentum up for this hill. We've got just enough power to keep our momentum up, which is exactly what we need, because if we didn't have enough power to keep our momentum up, we would have been pulling the front end off the ground, trying to get ourselves restarted, and it would have never played out very well at all. But I do like how this thing can support the weight of this cargo, 
and yet it's not bouncy it's not too stiff it doesn't oh geez the trailer creaked a little bit there i was like what are you doing please tell me you're not about to snap or break or flip over chilling down this hill right now. I don't want to give it too many beans. If I give it too many beans, it's going to be donezo, and it's going to be donezo quick. The road gets super uneven down here. You've got to be careful you don't bottom out, especially in a truck like this, because I didn't spring for the lift kit. There's not... Oh, okay. Yep, I was about to run out of steam having it in high. Not an area where I need to be in high in this truck for sure. All right, let's bring you on down here. And this should open up a whole new world of possibilities for us. At least, I think it will. I don't think it will. I know it will. Because there's a lot more of this area to explore, especially once you can get across the river. Almost there. A little bit of mud, probably from these rains we've had recently. All right, here's your beams. And there you go. And now we get to watch them do their work, because remember, we deliver stuff. We don't put it together. We just deliver it. And there we go. It's open and ready. Now, I know that it says it, we didn't actually get any, you know, any cash for that. But don't worry. We're going to actually drop by uh, the town a little bit later and pick up our paycheck for that. Because I think they said it was supposed to be, like, about 10 grand. So we just have to drop by and pick it up. So... It looks like there's a ATV recreational area over here. There's ATV trails, which is amazing. We don't have necessarily anything to play around with on these trails just yet. But I think that once we do a few more jobs, we might be able to set aside a little bit of budget for a fun rig. So let's back on out of here now that we've got this bridge rebuilt. And we'll go ahead and pick up that 10 grand for the job. Oh, geez. Ugh. I'm trying to get out of here without, like, high-centering the trailer or doing anything, like, you know, too sketchy. And we couldn't really back the trailer into those ATV trails because I didn't want to get it too twisted up or stuck or anything like that. Almost there. Ooh, easy. Some of these areas, you just have to be willing to back out of them. Like, like that's literally the only way you can get out. God, part of me wonders if I should have backed in. Because at least if I backed in, I would have just been able to drive out. Is this a good idea? I don't know. But I'm going to try to back it all the way around like this. Oh, this is a terrible idea. Professional idiot at work. All right, here we go. Well, that was actually way better than I expected it to be. Holy smokes, that was... That was fine. Like, that was literally fine. We didn't ruin anything in the process of doing that. That was beautiful. Okay, I mean, I am totally down for that. Yeah, we just gotta drop by the town, pick everything up, and we'll be good to go. So on our way back out, I'm, I'm trying to think if I want to get, like, an ATV next or if I want to get another, like, work rig. Because we can keep buying work rigs, and that's fine. The only thing is, you know, we've got the F-150 for the small jobs. We've got the 3500 for the big jobs. I don't know if we need anything a lot bigger than these just yet. Because, you know, the next step up from the 3500 would be to get some kind of, like, commercial chassis. And I don't know if that's what we need at this present moment. Now, of course, y'all can let me know down there in the comments below if you think that we do need something, you know, kind of of that caliber. But again, I'm still, I'm still on the fence about it. I don't know if we need that just yet. So let's make our way up to, oh, geez. We got to make sure we can get on up to, like, one of the main town and city buildings. All right, which I believe is up here here so ease your way on up and let's see if we can find some sort of like city hall slash administration building there should be something around here right i mean there's a police department right there there's the hotel up there there's oh that's the pizza place that we picked up pizza at not too long ago we should probably pick up another pizza at some point i mean 
they probably miss us. We used to pick up pizza there all the time. <laughs> At least a decent amount. Let's see. I think this is where we should... Well, no. No. You know what? Probably that administrative-looking building next to the police department. All right. Let's pull on in. And yes. Yes, the bridge is done. You can go look at it and see for yourself. Yes. Oh, no. You've already seen it? Oh, okay. Cool. Yes. All I need is to get paid for the bridge. Cool? Sound good? Okay, cool. Sounds good to me as well. And just like that, we are right back up to about 11,000, like just under 12,000. So um, we're definitely back from where we were when we bought this thing. Because when we bought this thing, we basically put about everything into it. But again, it was worth it. And I'm sure we'll make our way back to not only where we were before, but well above where we were before, because we've got a lot of plans, especially for where we want to go, what we want to do, and that is definitely something that we are going to be looking more into in terms of what I talked about before. Um, and when I say what I talked about before, that's like not only where we want to go in terms of vehicles, but where we want to go in terms of where we live in this area. Because again, we're going to, if like, if we buy anything else, we're going to outgrow this house. And I figured we were going to outgrow the house pretty quickly. Well, we're not going to outgrow the house itself so much as we're going to outgrow the parking. And that always ends up becoming the primary issue because, you know, Yes, we're going to need more vehicles, and we're going to need more... Tra well, I don't know if we're going to need more trailers yet, but eventually we will need more trailers, and at some point, this driveway size is going to become a little restrictive. And I get that. I know that. But we'll look at houses again fairly soon and kind of think about what we want to do and where we want to go. But I'm pretty happy with what we were able to pull off today.